in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed we call you the King of Zion. We call you the Lord of creation. It belongs to you, the earth, and all the inhabitants thereof. Lord, we will never be tired of acknowledging your Lordship. We thank you. We bless you for the privilege of wisdom for the privilege of access to the mysteries of the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, tonight we have come to know, to grow, to hear you speak we pray that your voice will be clear speak to us O king of zion and cause our ears to hear that which the spirit wants us to hear we pray that you will reveal the mind of the father to us and i pray that we will rise we will rise we will rise in the name of jesus we declare that our spirits are receptive there is the hearing of faith and the walking of miracles. And Lord, we thank you because burdens are lifted in this atmosphere. The sick are healed, the oppressed are delivered. You will give direction and hope. And Lord, every prophetic word needed to change every life and every situation, it will come expressly by your word in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 12, keep standing. Please keep standing. First Chronicles chapter 12. And I want us to read verse 32. I wish we can have this projected. First Chronicles chapter 12. It's a privilege to stand and minister God's word. It's a privilege to bring to us understanding. Are we there? It's projected. I just want us to read the A part. Are we together? Can we read? One to read. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. There is a relationship between understanding and the quality of your action. He says they had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Not just that they acted, but they knew what to do. We're here tonight gathered so that God will grant us the keys that will help us know what to do. Many people are acting, just taking actions that are not producing results. It's one thing to act, but it's another thing to know what to do. He says the children of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. Then they knew what Israel had to do. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Lord, like menorah, light me, Lord, light my life, light me, Lord, let me know what to do. Pray, pray, pray from the depth of.
of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. The Bible says, they that stumble, stumble in the night. There is, there is no way you will stumble once there is light. Are we together now? Yeah. The Bible says the eye is the light of the body. It says, and if your eye be full of light, right? If your eye be full of light, then paraphrasing now, it lightens your path. But then if your eyes be darkness, there are too many people stumbling. I don't just want to start preaching. It's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive. You see, this song that we just sang right now, it's not, it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional. I tell you, it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season. The Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. But the Holy Spirit is the light upon the candle. A candle is useless. Notice the way the candle lights. It keeps burning the wax. And then the light keeps coming. So the treasure in that candle is hidden inside. Are we together now? Without a fire, there cannot be light. The greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle, the more it gives illumination. So I want you to sing this song with understanding. Father, there are... I, I confess ignorance in my life, but light me. Are you ready to sing it for your heart? Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Give us illumination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me, Lord. Hallelujah. One of the blessings of walking with the Holy Spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment. Discernment is the spiritual quality of perception. It's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things, the spirit that engineers certain things, but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions. With... Uh, discernment works almost like mind reading you are able to pick signals are we together now that's why i led us to read that scripture it says the sons of issachar had an understanding a perception of the times one of the secrets listen one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving in the revelation of Ezekiel, and Daniel had the same revelation. It says how that the cherubs, everywhere the spirit moved, they also moved. The secret to a life of victory, the secret to a life of triumph, is to do what God is doing. Is to go where God is going. Because anywhere God is, that is where his life, his power his victory, his glory is concentrated. If God is going to the left and you are headed right, you are in trouble. 
if God is going right and you're headed left, you're in trouble. It's important. That's why we pray. And that's why we create an atmosphere of worship. Because among other things, we want to build discernment. The capacity to understand the speakings of the Spirit for every season. Hallelujah. And um, God has been helping us. We've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very, very applicable to our lives. And in line with the word that God has given us this year. Tonight, I want to share on something powerful. This message is very personal to me, especially in this season. Because I have seen the... Let me borrow from the words of God's servant, Bishop David Oyedepo. I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what I'm about to share with you. But then I have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this. Let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that I believe has been an anthem in this place. It's important to know what spiritual growth is because that's why we are gathered here spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the Christ conformity conformity to the image of the Christ the second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom so i can know whether or not you are growing spiritually by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the christ one and then the second point is i want to see how you are living your life i want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing men rise in this kingdom through secrets we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears Tonight I'm teaching on what I titled the gift of men. The gift of men. Ephesians chapter 4. The gift of men. I want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs 
the mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what I will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah I want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and I will forever Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your world. Out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your world, and I will forever sing your name. Seven and eight, Ephesians four, seven and eight. Sabala. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and did what? Gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit. Those gifts are people. When he ascended up on high, he gave men to men. There are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the spirit. Uh-uh. He gave gifts unto men. Where is your own? Because the Bible says he gave gifts unto men. And he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level, a stature, he calls it. Are we together? He gave gifts unto men. Fast forward all the other verses. He says to the end, because of those gifts, that we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation, the stature of Christ. Meaning, there is a gift I must receive. There is a dimension of the operation of the Spirit I must receive in men to be able to rise to that level. Please pay attention. Everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man. The wars in the world today happen because of man. The peace experienced by, nat by nations have been brokered by men. Listen to me. The poverty that we experience in Africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men. The wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men. The economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men. The policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men 
the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals it's because there are men the only reason why every other thing works you say i'm a real estate mogul no land does not give anybody money people love the land so the land becomes expensive everything revolves around men please pay attention i want to share with you a powerful mystery koinonia is running today not because jesus is lord but because there are men. the radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run in, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing psalms 8 hello madonna psalms 8 hello madonna David was called up a man after God's heart. Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen, who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on, please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three when i consider the heavens the work of thy fingers the moon think about it which thou hast ordained for what is man that thou art mindful you took your time to create everything for him you created the sun the moon you put protection you made sure plants produced so god there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you god will not rest why that is all god thinks about in heaven do you know god does not think about his glory i know what he's thinking about now man think about it sister if you are aware brother has been thinking about you from morning till night i think it's a cause to smile that shows you are valuable what is man that thou art it didn't say brain full mindful your mind is full right what's that song he will not suffer my food to be moved I carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me Lord, man, awesome God. so what is mine he never say who is man he's not talking about the personality of man what strategy did you design that you called man I know his personality but lord what is the use of the could you not replace him with something listen read the bible god has replaced many things with many things but god has been unable to find a replacement for man to an extent that no matter how bad man was god will come and say we will fix it even the man himself after wiping them he still preserved others there must be more in this mystery called man you know what is in a bank that's why they protect it you know what is in the earth that's why we put nmpc to guard it but we do not know what is in this entity called man what is man i put it in a better way what is in man 
that thou art mindful of him can't you just waste them away and build another species lord are you are you so dull after you created man did you lose your sense of creativity why do you want to so fix him why can't you just replace him can't you put a mind in chairs what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that as glorious as heaven is you are not comfortable so you come to visit him to an extent that you make that man your temple that man your temple your temple it's like Donald Trump coming to live somewhere at the back of this place and he says believe me you cannot get the joy and he said no 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 I mean you have everything you need Let's sing that song again. God, we are, we are, we are flying this night. He will not suffer my foot to him. I carry a present everywhere. Who am I? You can be so to love me. What do I do? Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body? that jesus is interested in satan is interested why do demons look for human bodies what in a body L listen listen what what happens to them when they are in a body you must understand this i will show you a mystery that will change your life we look for oil and ignore men we protect oil wells and leave men. Think how foolish we are. We put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and burn them and we want to move forward. The psalmist said, I have already considered the ground. I consider the oil fields. Mm -mm. I consider the sun. I consider uh -uh. I, I found out your attention is on this entity. So God, please tell me what is man? That you are mindful of him. If I have a safe with a million dollars and I'm hiding it, if you touch any other thing, I won't say anything. But if you are coming near there, I'll be shifting back. That's how it is. Satan noticed every other thing he touched. God didn't bother. But the moment he started coming to man, his attention batters that man. And then Jesus himself came and walked upon the earth. They asked Jesus, Why did you come? He said, To die. What kind of assignment is that? Went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant, yet he was not angry. There is more to me and you. I will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being. I will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is we protect things more than men we would rather kill men than kill things if 100,000 people die, listen, and Nigeria's oil field is protected, we think we're still all right. Listen, I want you to think about this for a moment. Just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you. Listen, do we have intelligent minds in this place? Imagine that not death everybody simultaneously 7.2 billion people enter a state of coma right now except you 
let me tell you what will happen to you i know you will first run to the bank you will find it open by the way you will enter the safe and run to a mall no security no nothing no plane no more terrorists no fear where are the demons they are no longer interested you search for them every dark corner does not make you afraid again so why did it make me afraid man man the only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive so brothers and sisters i want to ask you again what is in man don't you think this calls for study this thing changed my life i'm playing with your expectation before i begin to teach you what is man when i consider the work of your hands when you see a man designing something you want to know what he wants to put there when i see you building a house i want to know the kind of thing you want to put there then you finish building a beautiful house lavish money and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house i know that that is a dog plus something maybe that dog you are hiding cocaine in that dog i will tear that dog and find out why are we together now jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work god doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery i wish i had time i would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. I think it was Amos. Amos now. Right? That a, a lion ate a lamb, ate everything. He only left two legs and one ear. Two legs and one ear. Yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear, the two legs and one ear. When I read that scripture, I said, ah, if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep, and intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back the lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith then all hope is not lost let's go to our discussion tonight please sit down everything on earth i said happens because of man the demonic oppression happens because of man there are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities all because of men if god were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it is that true those of you who do businesses on campus you know that holidays are very bad times for you you don't like it why not because the building moves are we together now to an extent it's me that you can ship a consultant from india bundle him like a package and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight hour surgery and go back and pay him millions yet you think he is worth it hallelujah what is man that thou art mindful of him i have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire i still am at it and i do it passionately i'm like a spiritual archaeologist if you would um, permit me to use that word because i strongly believe the few, the secret of the future is in the past there is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future and so i study a lot 
And when the Lord began to teach me the mystery of men, um, I just felt it was very important to teach us. Now, when you consider the personalities of men, listen, you're talking about the psychological implication of men. You can have people who we consider to be extroverts, people who we consider to be introverts and etc. That's not what I'm talking about today. I'm not talking about the physiology of men. I'm not talking about the psychology of men. I'm talking about the spirituality. The very spirituality, the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life. Notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life, the Bible calls it an advantage. When he created all things, when he made the woman, remember, he said it is not good. So another body comes into another life. And the Bible says that person's life should not be the same. I, I'm just using marriage as an analogy. He said, he that finds a wife. He never said he that finds oil. He never said he that goes to school has done a good thing. He never said he that, he that if you can find another human being. Then he said there is a friend, another human being that sticks close. He gave gifts to men. The Bible was speaking about the patriarch Abraham. And he said, Abraham set out on his journey as instructed by God. And then Lot went with him. He never said Lot helped him. Lot just followed another man. And Lot's life started changing. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Let me show you the implication of men. The Bible records that there was a man called Laban. Laban. And then Jacob came to the house of Laban. And over a span of about 10 years, Laban's entire life changed. Is that true? The Bible speaks about a prophet called Jonah. On his way to run away from God's instruction, entered a boat where there were other men. And certain strange things started happening. Every time someone died, they started calling for the appearance of a man. And a man appeared. And then something happened. Have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere, they, they made certain things to happen? Men. Men. When Gehazi was troubled, he went to meet a man. Are men really important? When they were hungry, 5,000 people, they found a loaf, five loaves, two fish from a man and took it to meet a man. Even when the donkey spoke, he spoke to a man. Please, I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever. That means if I ignore men, I am ignoring something more than a personality. I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life. Listen, listen. If I ignore men, in fact, in ancient times, when kings had men, they were called wealthy. Not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight, because sometimes the people were not skilled. But in the multitude of men, is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is God interested in another man? When Satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness, what is he trying to stop? What is he trying to stop? He's not trying to stop joy. No! He's not trying to stop peace. There are people who are happy without children. Why will Satan take the issue of men personal? When 
Moses was giving birth to mm, listen Moses was giving birth to a decree listen they said they should kill all not animals men in this case the masculine uh, gender but then men when Jesus was born the same thing happened again kill men what is in man oh God that you are mindful of what am I missing the last person I drove away from my life what did I drive away I'm about to show you why is it that the Bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered I didn't steal I didn't kill I only did something to another man that was not good yet heaven responds to it this entity called man brothers and sisters has more than just a personality if all you look at is just two eyes two legs and a personality you will cheat yourself listen 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 let me tell you certain things about men number one men in themselves are not perfect ignore this because what i'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the 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 effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason god hid his possibilities in men he didn't hide it just in buildings he didn't just hide it in territories but the consecration of the possibilities of men he hid it the possibilities of god he hid it in men he made man the highest of his creation men are not perfect in themselves number two the attitude and the behavior of men good or bad good or bad listen to me does not stop your receiving what they carry the attitude of men good or bad does not stop your receiving what they carry Elijah was an angry man yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that I'd want to say about men Are you ready for this? There are certain possibilities in men, listen to me, that predates even their salvation experience. Please listen. Predates their salvation experience that can still be received, whether they are born again or not. You have to understand what I'm telling you now am i just am i saying people should remain unbelievers no but i am saying there are certain things that god has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman curses you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been open to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what I'm saying now? Yeah. All through scripture, every time children cried, God had children. Every time. Read your Bible. Every time children cried, there was a response from the earth to heaven. That's why I say, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, thou had ordained. Are we together? your destiny and my destiny are men 
dependent. Write this down. It's a very serious point. The your destiny and my destiny, the fulfillment of it is highly man dependent. My prosperity is man dependent. The quality of the work God has given me, the quality of your church, your ministry, your life is man dependent. The quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent. Your success and my success in life are highly or is highly man dependent. Evil on earth is man dependent. The advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent. The fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent. God can speak. The Bible never told us in the prophecy. It said a virgin shall conceive. A woman aligned herself with that prophecy. Otherwise, Jesus would never have been born. He never said Mary. No. A woman chose to play that script. It just so happened that the name of that woman is Mary. It was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb. He didn't tell us the owner. That was somebody's business. That was his property. It so happened that the man... Who fulfilled that prophecy was Joseph of Arimathea. He said how that he would be betrayed. But he never said by a man called Judas. The prophetic word of God, listen, has been hanging over the heads of many people. Because the men to make it happen are not available. Or they have come and we have driven them away. Please pay attention. Occultism thrives through the availability of men. When the devil wants to destroy a family, there usually will be an envoy, an individual, an entity, whatever it is. Men are more powerful than mediums. You can keep a charm in a house, but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said, Satan, I donate myself to scatter the life of these families. Are we together? My assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men. And watch the unlimited possibilities. I call it a quantum leap. That your life, there is a, a quantum leap is a jump. Not just a movement. You move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man. Hallelujah. There are four implications of the presence of men in your life. And I want you to note this. Number one, the first implication of a man coming into your life, especially sent by God, is the coming of wisdom ideas and strategies the only entity that is able to convey wisdom ideas and strategies is man every time a man shows up in your life wisdom ideas strategies wisdom so when i drive a man away I did not just drive a personality. That's why I said, doth not wisdom cry. It personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men. Are we together now? The conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom are men. Every time. 
time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension god sends a man and if you have the discernment that man can represent the strategy for the next level that man can represent the wisdom for the next level that man can introduce the idea for the next level many pastors many businesses many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes no every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true no matter where you buy it they rewrap it with their own pack and every time you see it sometimes it could be a surprise when you see it you start laughing because you wonder what is inside whether it is big or small you want to see what is inside the next time you see a human being come to you especially sent by god in a prophetic season you must begin to rejoice because that person ignore the personality this is what i'm teaching you when you look at the personalities of men you will drive all your miracles out of your life there are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern i've been fasting three days lord what is the key to the next level then a man comes men are the vehicles that god uses to transport wisdom and strategies wisdom and strategies implication number one pay attention to what i'm teaching you wisdom strategies let me tell you i think shortly before koinonia would start when we we're still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and I told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket brothers and sisters my life changed koinonia entered another a quantum leap when i began to read some of the things that were written i was shocked man bringing with them strategies do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you you just don't have the eyes to see let me tell you god is not wicked i have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom i've had people help me solve problems in life and i've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I start saying, I mean, so why did I start going around? I mean, you were here all the while. Has that happened to you? After going around, looking for answers, talking everything, it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night. You say, have you tried A, B, C? And that's the end of it. Men convey us solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not elisha the bible says there was a little slave girl correct a slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education and the training yet listen it was her that told naman he said I, I i know i'm a slave but there is a man of god there is a man of god i want you to meet when he met the man and you know doing his big manism she she's the one who came and advised him and said see 
he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere and Naaman washed seven times and the Bible says his skin could it be that since 2013 you would have risen but God kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer God give me strategies and all of a sudden he said please get out this way we're talking serious things here but I, said, I had a little dream I saw you I just wanted to share shut up don't tell me anything I'm not stupid I'm, I'm spiritual a small girl like you and you threw away your answer the person only humans can dream dogs don't dream forget all that junk you hear from sciences only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody you keep seeing things about everybody's life not your own life I'm talking of quality God inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate are we together men number two what is the implication of a man in your life endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise Paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the Nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement I was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting God, I think for a change of faculty or something. And, um, you know, the guy was discouraged. And then I told him, I said he should meet our daddy prof, you know, just to help him out. And he said, he, I saw him, I think it was just last week or so. And I was telling him, he said, everything is settled though. He said in his presence, they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many Canal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise, the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come and, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Oral Roberts and brought him the old man came and sat on air and they had only three minutes can you imagine three minutes to the end of the program do you know what robert said 
he said Benny is in need please help him in less than 24 hours they raised about 15 million dollars everybody say endorsement don't joke with what I'm telling you I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why I'm teaching you this I'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90 percent of the ministrations that i have gone to by the grace of god have happened through endorsements one pastor endorsing this someone saying i came for koinonia listen to this message while they are saying that i'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody i pray for someone tonight in the name of jesus christ the voice the voice no, any listen not every voice can lift you not every voice can lift you the voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you and i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that voice speak over your life yeah. hallelujah men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there i mean so that we can give him the, i said kai i don't know anybody in my mind let's come for koinonia after maybe the person is here now as you are here you are saying praise the lord and i help you answer hallelujah because that's it it's done someone's life changed overnight how many people after service they were just going out to trek just like that and somebody gave them a lift and while discussing they said, what do you do young man say sir you know i'm just moving around say, how, how can you be moving around what are you doing i'm not doing anything come to my office take this card and they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building and they enter the office and they say sorry this person and it, it keep getting access until he gets to the man and he says well i'm the managing director of abc i'm the nigerian representative of this let your life change can men change people's lives <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke Look, let me tell you, some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all these childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh, you better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man that thou art mindful of? Man is a conveyor of endorsement an opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent i have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements Brothers and sisters, I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. People have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly 
do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 no, no. in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department and this thing is going to affect him ah my apostle how are you you are even calling me and i say sir please i'm not saying you should uh, do anything but please sir can you look into this issue and the person will just come out and say i passed i graduated it's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person may someone discuss your rising even when you are sleeping that when you are while you are sleeping someone is saying look do you know sam i know how he will rise come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life you don't pay attention to what i'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer this is how god will bless men in this season that's why i tell you when god says it's a year of triumph believe him it doesn't take time it just takes the right voice speaking for you hallelujah i have entered offices today i have no business entering it because of the endorsement endorsement Who has endorsed you man of god i know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah i will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother her mother said i don't have anything to tell you i don't even know this guy just go and meet apostle whatever apostle says think of it leaving somebody's destiny in my hands i called the mother i said mommy this guy is a very nice guy say apostle you are saying that i said yes from that day there was no challenge again lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that jesus immediately they get back to jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangement and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak and i say oh 
this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in lack and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's too spent he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us, our past will never let us go. They know that you used to be around following every man. Yes, that was your past. But now you are born again. And Jesus is Lord of your life. Yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997. So the moment they see a responsible godly man come in, they call and say, Kai, um, you know, David Dam, I wouldn't have told you. It's just because you are my brother. This is not a good choice. I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread partners wanted to sow into their lives but somebody said i saw his poster with a and b's poster and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody recommended you badly i pray any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny, I silence that voice right now. Shout amen. I silence that voice right now. I silence that voice right now. Please sit down. Sit down. Hallelujah. Cheap victory because a man showed up. Quantum leap because an endorser showed up. There are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight. A man of God they invited somewhere could not make it. And he would just say, please, can you go and stand for me? That was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there. And they stood there and they did well that day. After the meeting, there are seven or eight pastors. And they say, sir, please, can you come to a, for a meeting? Can you come for a meeting? Etc. Etc. There is no meeting, brothers and sisters, that I will go for that afterward, somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of God to another region. This is how we have grown as a ministry. This is how we have grown, even financially. The blessing that has come from people. Are we together now? I remember someone one time sowing into the ministry and he said that him... I think he's a critical person. He hates men of God. Many men of God are fake. They are not serious. But when he listened to my message and his mentor, he, he had his mentor, whoever that person was, listening to my message, he just said, no, we'll be sowing into this ministry. Every month, I tell you, every month, he sows a seed to Koinonia and a seed to my life. Do I know him? I have only communicated with him on text, but endorsement. 
don't trivialize what I'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some and say, ah, listen if he's a mecca eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if he does not deliver it just take it at my risk and all of a sudden they will just sign it and instead of selling one one chicken somebody will come and say it's two five you say we'll give you 700 and all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken you will start doing wholesale delivery your life has changed music artists how many music artists have been suffering as if god didn't call them beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you given it or you looked for it by yourself are you seeing the secret to hardship where you have to look for everything by yourself who has called you to say there is a big opportunity i cannot handle it but here you go like whoever is going to get this job now there are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit i have felt led to lift certain people and i call those people i say i'm sorry i can't come their heart is paining them and i say no 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 no. but this person cannot call but i know someone i can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case closed i don't want my life to be hard though the bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um and i'll reiterate it very quickly someone who wanted to um i think get admission in nda and then the the required height level the person did not have that required height level and you know military people they are very serious well that's it he returned back to zaria and then met the emir and the emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant they should go and tell the man that the emir has added the height of the person who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is adding your height when people stand and conspire we must destroy benga we must make sure he does not rise who is the voice authorized to stand and say no not this I will show you why doors don't open because the truth is i want to admit this with all humility many of us are already prepared for the next level but we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need the truth is if it's music artist god has honored this ministry with great people if it's intellectuals there are some of you seated right now one endorsement i remember a gentleman who came here um some time ago a medical doctor and he discovered um, something he was he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check I think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and I told him I said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and I think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again I want to believe that God has lifted him and I pray that it is so. I 
made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life whatever price it will take I will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice it's not human worship hallelujah or a robot help Benny he's in trouble and all of a sudden somebody's prayer point becomes a gift hallelujah there are men of God who just do you know there are certain stages even ministerially speaking sincerely if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage as far as ministry is concerned God has helped you there are certain individuals if God has given you the privilege to see God has changed your life endorsements opportunities number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him he didn't say and lot believed what he believed lot just walked with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was walking with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like he was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was 50,000 just because she was working with who think of think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah, I left my house with 500,000 now I have 12,000 what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell it's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid men can bless you for no reason you must believe this dimension exists that a man can just bless you i've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way for no reason i don't even know some of them hallelujah let me share a testimony that will bless you i share these testimonies to encourage our faith i came back from abuja this just this evening just coming here now and um yesterday in the night i decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep and while i got there my my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then you know saw her off uh, on my way returning i asked the man 
I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them. Make sure you take care. I removed everything. I dropped it. The man was afraid. Ah, this is, I hope this is not blood money, and etc., etc., etc. I just dropped it and said, okay, this is where I'm highlighting. God bless you. Until I entered, the man was shocked. That's the kind of experience that is, I didn't know. You will answer me this way. There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let, let, send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges accessed, sim- not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. I just said I'll do it as a seat. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into it. And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. One time, I, re- I remember, I think it was one of these, was it Salah or something like that? A, a, part, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ah, the wife was at the back of the bike. Just, he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just, it's as if you just press it in and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? I, I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. I ah, was greeting me. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, madam, bye-bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house? They are not in ministry. One day, somebody just said, come and escort me. And they are sharing houses and you just got your own. And left quietly and ran out of the town. Just quietly got a lawyer and said, sign this. It's called prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. That's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season. Prepared blessings. Where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text. Wanting nothing in return. I'm not talking of bribe. Look at this. Many of our parents, some of you know that I'm telling the truth. They are brilliant. According to their level of sacrifice, they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government. But today, nobody can speak for them. There are many people who should be legislators. 
doing very well nobody is speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving 20,000 naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you Dr. Mike Mudok shared it, a story one time how that I think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about $25,000 the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you I was told about a woman of God in Abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um, it's like their chapel devastated she brought out 8 million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up I know a man of God in this country well not a man of God but a rich man the pastor had been shouting we need a tent all of you so we need a tent we need a tent let's beautify the house of God the rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying one day the guy got up and bought a tent 25 million cash they brought it I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason I want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like say I'm talking about money no problem I know you don't need it but your destiny needs it <laughs> so you better pay attention in the name of Jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and Boaz said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of God and I stand in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy it upon you as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives may that come to you speedily may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings yes. say it again prepared blessings, prepared blessings. Mm. It, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that i honor that we honor i supervised the supplementary list by myself there were three people that i honor with every esteem in my life and when three of them called me i said no 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 i'm under authority too bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission you, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert and they said congratulations but someone spoke for you why has it stopped why should it not continue in other areas of your life that somebody will speak for you you are just sitting you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say who are you you say we were discussing and someone mentioned your name it has happened to me it happens all the time Pray one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of help us. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string no thank you for this 
investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. A helper. My family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want, Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe. I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God. There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you, there are few things in this ministry, few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house. Every week, every time there is somebody rising to handle something. When we used to use other venues, there are people who just arise and say, look, I will pay for the venue. I will pay for this. How much does it cost to transport people all through after service? I will pay for it. Don't think it's everybody who must say, what will I get in return? There are people, whatever you want to give them, God has given them already. They don't need anything. They just want to bless you. What is man that thou art mindful of? Number four, what is the implication of the presence of men in your life? I call it impartation, access to impartation and the prophetic. Access to impartation and the prophetic. Why do you need men in your life? Their presence can guarantee you access to impartation. What is impartation? Transference of grace for possibilities. Transference of grace for possibilities. Men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them. No matter how you cry for God to anoint you, if you ignore men, you will never. Do you know, look at me. Some of you, all you need in your life it's just that prophetic push. Prophetic push. Bishop Oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying, wow, this is how the ministry has risen. They will just go to Papa Ia Deboe and they will just lay hands on him and say, you have seen well, but a new level. And that's the end of it. Prophetic push is capital. It can bless your life. It can wipe your tears. 
one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women i'm not sure they could even speak english and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um what they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and i said ah, ah, i may not have much but ah, come on these are my mothers let me bless them and i just bought the sugar cane i don't think i spent up to 100 naira. i can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove five naira she knew what she carried on her head listen don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how he got that anointing he said he was a particular man of god i don't know if it was archbishop benson Idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and he, to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and and the Oedeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility The moment shame is about to come, something must happen to change that result. It's a grace. Impartation. By God's grace, we have lavishly received impartations in this place. Impartations. I have received impartations. I'm like a bee. I'm a product of strange graces. Jesus himself being the chiefest of them all. But there are human vessels. There are men who have entered my life and just wipe my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push i told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say, look, physically speaking, there is no hope. But in the name of Jesus, I introduce a reality, an equation into your life. I was teaching in, in, in Akure and I told them the anointing is, the, is an advantage. It's an advantage. It's an advantage. It's an advantage. Prophecy. This ministry you see, there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level? Where is the prophetic voice? That's why every time I minister here, I pray and I speak over your life from the depth of my heart. It's not just copy men of God. I understand the power of the prophetic. Second Chronicles 2020. He says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. 
then he says believe his prophets so shall you prosper in other words don't believe them and what happens to you he says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved the prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if he's dead 327 on the dot that's how a man's destiny can be programmed a man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25 prophecy prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro you must understand this by this time tomorrow elisha said he didn't say god told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said no no i live among my own people what should i he said well we don't have a child hear what he said he placed a time that's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle because the clock must ring he said to appoint unto them that morning zion to appoint so something that would have happened next year they take it and make it happen next week it's a superior dimension of the prophetic a woman will be coming here i'm sure one of these days to share her testimony she sent a testimony that touched me now this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies but they are very powerful i don't have time to look for it in my phone but i will tell you she said i think we were in a program i don't know which of the meetings now whether in yola or whatever yes they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking cooking for us and i always pray for all those who cook those who drive me and cook for me every time i go for any meeting now i prayed for the woman and according to her she said i told her that what do you want and she said she wanted twins and she said it jokingly and i said in the name of jesus may the lord give you twins nothing really happened she got pregnant two weeks after that time that's the first news this is a woman that had been barren and but when they checked her there was only one child glory be to god that's all right at least i'm happy that i'm pregnant now and she said just like um i think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if i say some of these testimonies that they are not it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for but brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth anybody that tells you that god cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking Look at my life. Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people. In this recession, people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine. 
one of the gifts that God has given me in my life I draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death I've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira are, are five naira is the same no your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira it's, it's called the mystery of hardship when you work for everything you know we encourage diligence here but your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working you need an advantage and that advantage is shrouded in men not oil not real estate not banking men 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 who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no, no. don't say this against pastor femi I love him. Are we together? They just said they had some money in your office. You are about to be thrown out. You are in trouble. And you are innocent. Just because you are working in the accounts department. They are about to jail you. In the prison. In the, in the police station. There is nobody to speak for you. Before the law court. Nobody to speak for you. They are about to throw you in. Nobody to speak for you. Hapa. That's a life with no favor. That every time trouble arises, somebody will come and say, Look, ordinarily speaking, you are supposed to do A and B and C to Emeka, but I come in. Have you seen people who, when they are fighting, they come and stand and say, Don't beat this person. It's better to beat me. Who can cover you like that? Politicians call them Godfather, God, whatever. Brothers and sisters, we have ignored this to our detriment. One of the blessings God has given me in my life is not just divine immunity and protection. God has raised men, I can tell you this, men who will stand and they will mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent. And I do not take them for granted, but I am grateful. I have been shocked. A man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me. And I mean, that person, I, I didn't even know. It was when he apologized. More than 100 people called him, blasted nonsense out of his life. I said, God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you. You mix every, the baby and the bad water and think everybody. It was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men, those, you, you know, you know what I mean now. Maybe somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly. Time shall tell. You know those kind of sarcastic statements. And my goodness. And I'm not talking of young people. Married women. The person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got it. I said, no, 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 no. No offense. I don't have, why, why, why? I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? 
can you have people like that there are men who can arise to cover your shame just because they know you they will arise and say no 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 i will cover your shame for you we have some prayers to pray this night if our parents had this they would not be struggling like this because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have educationally whatever it is no help no help no help you work hard you go to school almost as if you would die you graduate and your your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue nobody to speak on it the only thing there is the registrar signature and life will look at you and say no i need another signature come on this is this is this is too regular show me another one you are praying and fasting but you need to start praying strategically don't just pray and say lord send angels yes angels are important but you need a physical entity moved by those angels there was a particular time they were going to this paul was afraid of entering a city and god said no no don't be afraid i have many people there nobody will touch you i have many people many men there i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen, one of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts up to men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God, with the prophecy for my next level? Where is the man you have sent with the idea? Where is the man to endorse my life, my ministry? Ten minutes. Please, I don't know how you will pray. But the next ten minutes, instrumentalists help us. Cry before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I want to receive my own gift. You are giving gifts to men.
In this season of triumph, oh God. Enough of delay. Enough of delay. Lord, I'm tired of struggling. One man away. One man away. That man must show up in my destiny. the Lord. Listen, listen. The Lord gave me a promise that when I teach this message, he will release radical breakthroughs to the lives of men. Believe this. You will hear of people's lives changing overnight. Overnight. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here. Man, an advocate. Man. Listen, listen. He said they are taken for a prey, but none say yet restore. They capture you, but there is no man to shout restore. Prayer point number one. Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea, that I need to experience triumph. I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies, business strategies through men, Strategies through men. One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what ten years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man. One man. The difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two. Listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level. But there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level. I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products. The voice endorsing my services. The voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. It's 
time to rise. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Kingdom come, I will be. Hello, Him Adonai. Thy kingdom come. Pray, 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 pray with all your heart. Master's holder, I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice, a voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray Azataka parataka tokatesh, a helper, a helper. Are you praying? A helper. A helper. A helper. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. Bring a helper to make my life easy, oh God, so that I can have the time to serve you, so that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment. Lord, I'm tired of financial distractions. Lord, I'm tired of material destruction. Send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you. Send a helper. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't look around. Pray. Shaka taka ta. Leke te proto soto te te. E proto soto kota. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Kai, I tell you, I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers we are praying. I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit. The last prayer point. I want you to pray this with all your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That one you can have it this night, right now. That one is available for you. It's up for you to receive. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the prophetic push, that push I need, that impartation, that prophetic push 
for my ministry, for my life, for my family. Lord, my family is in hellfire. We must come out this night. Lift your voice and pray. Pray outside, pray. Online, pray. Wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world, pray, pray. Pray your way to a new level. Pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. forget this kingdom key it's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars no father no mother notwithstanding they rose no education no experience notwithstanding they rose come on now life delayed and battered the enemy ate a major part of their life but in one year they recovered through men through men never forget this he gave gifts to men he gave gifts to men man of god i'm 45 years i've wasted my life don't worry one man one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years man of god my business is grounded listen listen do you know while the lord asked me to prepare for this message I was watching channels TV and I saw how that Eric L was about to pack up because they were in debt. It was so much. And imagine a big one of the biggest airlines in the country. I love them, of course. I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me, I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone. There are places only them can go. And I started thinking, I said, My God, that means there has to be another plan. And the only other plan can be chartered services. And all of a sudden, I just heard that Amcon, representing the federal government, said they are, too, they are too important to let them crash. And they said, we are coming to wage you. I said, this is my message. This is my message. The federal government, how many airlines, I don't want to mention names, have crashed in our presence. Federal government waved them and said, you, you are in debt. But that a man is almost falling. And then a hand picks him. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. The power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back. Let me have that lady in front. Tonight, listen, I want your faith. reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here I'd like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst hallelujah the lady at the back I'm seeing an angel walking I'm seeing an angel walking across this road the lady is wearing something like pink pink something like pink something like pink
something like pink that's the lady bring her she will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost by the agency of the Spirit let her go now come out of her in the name of Jesus foul devil of darkness go I see you in the realm of the Spirit Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands, everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus, I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil tonight you will let God's people go now lift your hands everyone at the count of three shout Jesus and the power of God will fall one two three every devil Bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside. I rebuke evil spirits. In this row, in this row, the power of God is falling mightily. Come out of God's people. I expose the works of darkness. Every demon in hell. Outside, outside, the power of God is falling outside. There are two ladies seated in a row. The power of God is falling on two of you outside. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah come out of her now out of her in the name of jesus come out of her foul devil of darkness go go i'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit out of her right now come 
out of her. You're a wicked spirit of darkness. Out! I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. Come out right now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Go! This lady has been oppressed and her entire family. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. You must go. The light shines upon you. Go! Go now! You have oppressed this girl for long. Now in the name of Jesus, come out of her. Come out right now! Out of her! Come out of her right now! Out in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Turn and look at me. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a wicked spirit of darkness. Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? the devil is a liar tonight are you hearing me the devil is a liar tonight the power of God will come upon families families right now whoever goes under the anointing you're not representing yourself but your family there are things that need to be settled at the count of three all over this building families be rescued one two three papa pateka karata bete kerekoba baba tata lata bakeria totokete bring them out every family every family every enchantment every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Kata tabalada, kata barata, karatosa, rabariata, beke tori seke, mabrika to, ereka likaba, rabariata, rekoto seke teke te, beke poshia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Apatakata, leka praskata raka, rakata prakata ba. Aprosko so so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. 
Rakata Baba, Raposoto, Regeteke, Raposco Se, Regos Keriata, Mapata Borokote, La Eke Regeto, Raposke Blondo, Capriata Katashekete. Outside, the fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you are a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delaying different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. one that look up there are certain issues that you go through in your life you pray about it you fast about it the more you pray the more you fast nothing is changing why is it so hold on hold on no let that lady not go look at my eyes 
Please dress her. Let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If we don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits and then we just, and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. Come out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit, not the person. Don't worry, the spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes. Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of... Ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm seeing. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan. Come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now, come out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Ranta prosko sete balakatea. Victory, Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that?
Put your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. All right? Are you ready? One, two, go. You're free in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come, tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Come out of our family. Right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Bring this lady. Look at look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress this ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? It started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. Speak for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping. In the dream. I saw somebody. The person don't shout. Hey, they are not shout and I wake. Since then, my heart. It says, um, it says to me that the heart wants to win. I use that. I want to give up anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not heart. You think it's heart problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive. Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out. You are wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. 
this one is not hard problem aha you will leave her come out out of her right now out come out of her in the name of jesus me look at me just look at me of you who brought sick people please we'll, we'll start ministering shortly but i want to pray for people who please stand up everybody stand up stand up hallelujah the lord is specifically asking me to pray i'm going to pray you won't come out god will bring you out by himself um the lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Mm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Kato shatabalakata. Now! 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 Kato shatayata. I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams parekete sekelebash bashote kete tete rekete bosoto balaka Lord, 
these ones in front by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I bring you freedom an end comes to this devilish oppression you will go you will go 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 in the name of Jesus you will go by the power of the Holy Ghost you will go I'm seeing this lady being oppressed a man is go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out right now come out right now in the name of Jesus out of her she's free leave her be gone forever come out right now out come out of her right now out by the fire of the Holy Ghost you are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ come out right now come out fire upon you fire upon you in the name of Jesus you are a wicked spirit look at this this is somebody that came happily and nicely you see the things we are talking about the Lord Jesus is against you fire upon you right now come out of her come out in the name look at her assuming the character of a man this is a lady this is a lady out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where's the other lady that came now be gone leave her, leave her. she's free are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosaki will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body, you came with a sick person, especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sam. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside, running here, it's time for your healing. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you, in the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, 
at moments like this the devil will start distracting people now is the time to be sensitive you can be where you are and the holy ghost can be doing his thing with you hallelujah as hands come upon you ah, yeah, 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 yeah. sister look at me just look at me salvation comes to you we're going to begin to pray and minister to you as hands are laid worship him help us hallelujah as hands are laid upon you expect a miracle whatever it is barrenness delay sickness what if it has a name it has a need tonight hallelujah worship him help us please those of you at the side please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you check yourself go back to your seat Check yourself. Now, whatever is wrong with you, you'll be healed. you out with a loud shout you are going out go go now go 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 
on your mouth said go you're free thank you Jesus the demonstration of the authority of light over darkness Make sure you are praying. Arabo shalabandi. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. Jesus, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body, go. As we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing. It doesn't matter what is wrong. Fire right now. Come out. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Out, my devil. Come out of her. Fire upon you right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Go. Your time is up. Over this family. Spirit of poverty. Go. Go right now. On your mark set. Go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, you must go. Be cast out right now. right now
telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosata la bakaria. Sheda balarabonga. Zatekrata balaraba. I'm seeing families. The curse of delay. Marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. Station of darkness, go in Jesus' name.
for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked someone has a problem with the left side of your ears the left side of your ears who is that person the left side of your ears is as if there's water the left side of your ears the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten the palma worm please be sensitive everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic and i will restore to you there are two families here that need major restoration the holy spirit is going to bring them out they will come out by themselves under the influence of the holy spirit two families wherever you are I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a tele everyone that belongs to this category the sign is that you will run by yourself you will come out by the influence of the holy ghost it's a prophetic sign for speed the holy ghost is bringing speed into your life let our family go come out come out come out Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. 
the Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my Lord major major restoration hallelujah hallelujah eight eight one one two five two eight eight one one two five two you or someone in your house has that number this is part of the 11 numbers eight eight one one two five two come out eight eight one one two five two And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Z number. 774. 774. A Z number. A Z number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Z number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now without power of the Holy Ghost. Look at, I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. 
All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. As this, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now. Across that place, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady you had a dream yesterday you saw me ministering to you there are not many times these kinds of revelations happen who is that lady you're a lady you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had please come out there is a lady please let's save time we still have some other things to do Baba. sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered. Very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel. 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 there's a mighty move of the spirit in this place God is just visiting people make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me Lever, come out come by yourself come and stand here Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here. Stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Hold on.
bring this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the Spirit. This lady loves God, but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, You will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. You see your mother or your auntie or something on the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Yes. Do I know you? Yes. Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, Many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. And this is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Too. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup. this request we are not opening it but I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on Kai what is this before we pray someone in your family her stomach started protruding 
people even thought she was pregnant it's not pregnancy who is the person come out ah this is satanical who is the person there's someone somebody's stomach in no 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 this you, you are not i'm seeing the lady like um, what they call it this lady's hair but this type that is how do i describe it now help me holy spirit where who is the person please someone's stomach is a lady in your family is coming out they're even thinking she's pregnant you think she's not pregnant hurry up my sister let's save time who is that you or someone in your family someone in your family you believe in Jesus very well look at me look at me very well and you believe you help your family because my dear there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first hmm? a lot of salvation you too you were scared why this is a family please when you, when you hear a word don't be scared Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Okay. That has... Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus. None of the requests here, your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. 
Believe me. Mosaks, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Rabato let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Hallelujah. Every uncompleted project in this place. I command, let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year. Completion of houses, projects in the name of Jesus. Every delay in relationship or marriage, I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus. Every plague of barrenness 
inside and outside everything called barrenness in your life I curse it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command a restoration whatever you have lost in the name of Jesus a sevenfold restoration receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah look at me I want to break the curse of poverty over families I always do this everybody look at me I want you to bring out a seed you know that we don't if you don't believe it just keep your seed please bring out a seed bring out something that will touch you just lift it up many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness... Are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of God every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the seed to heaven my God like the sacrifice of Abel visit it now in the name of Jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up.
I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now I'm 14th, you'll be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you're here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to make a genuine commitment. The Bible says, as many as will come, he will in no wise cast away. We're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside. You probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the Lord has done. You've seen the wonders of God. And the Lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start. As I count one to five, please inside and outside as a family of faith, i like us to celebrate such people. Leave your seat and run out right now. Everyone, one. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You follow them in one minute. And then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow 
there will be a follow up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? You will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially, and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.